Hi, um, this is Caitlin, and I wanted to do a video about um, Lyme disease. So I discovered I had Lyme disease when I was 26. Um, right near my 26th birthday is when I had the um, diagnosis, and I had been sick for ever since I was either 12 or 15. I'm not really sure which age, but I was sick um, and didn't know it. And um, so what happened was I spent years of my life thinking that I had mental illness because that's what doctors were telling me because I was depressed, which was one of the symptoms. It wasn't mental illness, it was a symptom of Lyme disease and the bacteria being in your brain. And um, I spent, I got really sick. I had tried all the medication for uh, the mental illnesses that I was diagnosed with, depression, anxiety, even a form of schizophrenia, not uh, full-blown schizophrenia, but something like that. And I took all the medication because I believed everything I was told. Um, and this is something that I went through. And when I was, tw so by the time I was 22, 23, um, I just, I didn't know what to do anymore because I didn't feel okay on that medication for anxiety and the mental illnesses. Um, what I felt was like there's something else, there's something more, there's something going on here. And um, I just didn't have any answers, no matter how many people I went to, no matter how many counselors, no matter how many doctors, no matter how many specialists, I was willing to see everybody, and I did. And um, there was just nobody who could help me. So for two whole years of my life, I was not well enough to go to university anymore not well enough to work or do anything. I had my whole family questioning me, uh, making me feel worse. And like, I was just pretty much worthless. Like I couldn't be who I was meant to be. I was just depressed and sad and, you know, didn't leave the house and didn't know what to do about that. So that was really hard and taxing to go through. Um, and, you know, I didn't give up though. What I did was I decided I'm gonna find an answer. There's an answer. There's gotta be an answer. So for two full years, I had a planner and I made all my doctor appointments and I just went for it. I just went to my doctor as often as they would let me. They, I think, thought I was a bit crazy. Um, on, this, on the door of the doctor's office, it said three symptoms you're allowed to talk about. And I had 70, seven zero, 70 symptoms. And I was just like, how the heck am I gonna figure this out? Um, you know, I would go to the emergency room on a Saturday night, that was a normal thing for me to do with my mom. Go to the emergency room, just, hey, can you help me? I, like, I, I feel awful and I don't know what to do and something's really wrong. And, you know, I had so many symptoms, like my whole body, every part of my body, my mind, I really didn't know what to do. So this is a background for me, my journey with Lyme disease, because um, how I got better was taking one step and it was a really important step and I got there by choosing to do it. And I, what I did was I decided, okay, well, no one can help me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face my fears because the worst symptom I can think of or that I'm experiencing is anxiety. I feel horrible about it. I can't go out. I can't go outside of the house without feeling crazy. Like it's going to the grocery store was one of the hardest things for me. And then what I did was I just decided, okay, well, you know, I tried the counseling. I tried the anxiety medication. Nothing's working. I'm just gonna start facing my fears because. Anxiety is fear. So I'm gonna start facing my fears. I have control over that. So that one decision changed everything for me because from that decision, what happened was I just started doing that. I started going to yoga classes. I started, you know, anything I was afraid of that I wanted to do, I just started doing it. And that gave me so much freedom because even, I mean, after that is when I got my diagnosis um, because my mom heard someone on the radio um, who I'd gone to high school with and his story was so similar to mine and he had Lyme disease and so she she was like it sounds like you and so I got testing with iGenX it's a lab in California I sent my blood sample there around my 26th birthday I found out okay it's positive it looks positive positive. and from there I had already been so empowered that it was just an it was just more empowerment for me so this is how I approach healing is that it's always a matter of empowerment. It's not giving your power away to anybody because when I did that, it was actually causing me to be in immense danger. Um, you know, if I would have listened to what they told me, which was that I was fine to keep exercising, to keep eating well, 
you know, get some sleep, I would have died. And so this is a very strong standpoint I take is that empowerment is so important when it comes to everything in your life, but especially with your healing. And so right now, um, what I love to do or what I do is I do chakra clearing for people. And this is something that has been born out of exactly what I went through because what happened was my decision to live opened up my intuition. I was always sensitive, but it opened up my tuition in like a huge way. I really connected to something bigger and um, I couldn't always do chakra clearing. I only started doing this a year ago, but it really combines all of my experience, all of my intuition, um, you know, because my intuitive abilities got so big that I actually ended up being a psychic. I ended up doing readings for people while at journalism school. Um, so yeah, I went back to school. I got two degrees. I got a, I finished my degree in English, got my degree in journalism and was doing stuff like that for my friends, for people across the country. Um, you know, I was like giving readings to people that were accurate. Um, but I felt like I wasn't really solving their problems. I was able to tell them about their problems and what was going on, but I wasn't really able to help them and they would keep coming back with the same problems. So, um, eventually what happened was I, I myself got interested in the chakras, um, and I did a, my own meditation on them and it changed my life completely. Again, um, I had a huge change in my life and, um, I knew there's something really special about work with the chakras and then honestly the, that was two years ago I took the or no one year ago two years ago I started meditating and then a year later I had the opportunity to take a chakra balancing course and that taught me how to work with the chakras how to feel them but I discovered I have I can do something else I can do something more than that and so what I do is I actually take out the energy of your issue I take out you know the confidence issue I take out the money issue I take out the illness because all of that is rooted in an energy and a lot of that energy is from childhood and um, that's the kind of stuff that we carry around in these deep layers and we don't really know why we don't even know it's there sometimes but we do see the effects on it of it in our life because you know our lives are a certain way and it reflects our energy so one thing that happens to me all the time is um, my apartment changes. So right now I'm in a beautiful apartment. I just moved in to my new apartment a few days ago and I love it. And, but before this, I've been, you know, moving around New York city, like how many times, like seven times in the last few months, because that's how often my energy changes. And every time it's a better apartment. And, um, so it's 3d changes that this affects too. And also I've not taken my treatment for Lyme disease for a few months now. And, um, you know, I feel okay, which is kind of a miracle because I've been taking this treatment for seven years and I worked with a Chinese medicine doctor and, um, and she, you know, really saved my life. She really helped me, you know, my body to recover. But the thing is it never, it didn't work like fast. It took seven years. And on top of that, it wasn't really getting rid of the, origin of the illness it was like you know I can still feel even now like it's a big energy for me to uncover and to clear and I'm working at it still but it's like this energy that's behind it it's actual fear and so um you know a lot of people don't understand what I'm doing and honestly I don't care because it it works and it it works in the way that it's meant to for each person because each person has different things that they're dealing with in their energy that they can't see. But the beauty is that I can, I can see it and I can take it out and I have this gift. And, um, you know, I really think with what's going on in the world, it's, you know, I've experienced this in my life that, you know, we value certain opinions. We give money to certain people we value doctors, we value, you know, all the people that were wrong about me, I'm going to go ahead and say because it's true. Um, you know, I find like people question what I do a lot. Um, even though I have great results, and it really works. And everyone I've worked with has experienced something amazing. Um, you know, but it's just, even one woman I worked on, I am um, in two sessions. Uh, she had had she had been wearing adult diapers because of an issue with her bladder and in, actually after one session she didn't have to wear them. So I mean this is like 
stuff that I'm doing for people, people are experiencing it. And, um, you know, when you work with energy, things change fast. And I think I, it's my responsibility really to share the word that, you know, I don't, I don't guarantee anything for anybody because everybody's different, but when you're working with energy, this is how powerful it can be. It can change things fast. And I think I really value that because I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of years and I value time so much. So, um, yeah, I, speaking of time, it's 10 minutes. So thank you for watching. But, um, yeah, I want to share that, you know, just because it's new or just because it's different doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It doesn't mean that it's not valuable. It doesn't mean that it, you know, just because we can't see energy doesn't mean that it's not there and that working with it isn't super powerful. And, you know, empowerment is what I'm all about now because I know that, you know, it takes a lot of trust, you know, to take things into your own hands or to trust somebody who is working out of a state of empowerment and not out of, you know, having a medical degree. But I do have, you know, a lot of results I have my own experience, I have the understanding, and I have this sense of empowerment that is so important because um, that's really how I do this work, is my faith in myself and in the bigger picture that's supporting me. And, um, you know, empowerment is a big theme in what I do. Um, I also do energy coaching, and that's one of the biggest things that I talk about. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching. And um, if you have any more questions, please get in touch with me. I would love to talk to you about what I do and what I've done for people. And um, thank you.